I texted my mom this morning. I had the morning mass and had to unlock the church at seven. And I said, I get to unlock this beautiful church every other day. And it's just very humbling. And to be here in the place I was ordained is a special way to start the priesthood. It's called a cathedral because it is the seat of the bishop of the diocese. And uh, up here in the sanctuary on the left side, you can see the bishop's um, chair, which is called the cathedra, uh, from which the word cathedral comes. The, the building in which we're standing today um, was begun in 1873. And it took three years to complete in 1876. And um, in 1898, there was a terrible fire. Um, my grandfather was actually in the church the evening before and went home and remarked that it was very warm in church that night. But a fire had begun and it destroyed pretty much everything except the walls. Um, from 1898 to 1900, the church was um, rebuilt and that's the church in which we're standing today. The cathedral is a sacred place and um, the particular architecture and style of this church, um, something that we might call today the old style of church, um, um, it's filled with sacred objects. Um, even, even the Gothic design is meant to, to lift your, your thoughts and your eyes upward, um, upward to heaven, basically. Um, so um, when I come in, I think my attention is always drawn to the stained glass windows. Um, which were um, made in Innsbruck, Austria, and brought here and placed in the church. And then, of course, the beautiful murals that are in here, designed by um, a Savannah artist named Christopher Murphy, and executed in New York City. And they were um, painted on canvas and rolled up like wallpaper and brought here and placed on the walls of the church. It's, it's a wonderful feeling. Um, we just ordained a new priest about a month ago, and um, I was thinking of my own ordination, and I was thinking that here's somebody who's gonna carry on um, the work that I and others have been doing in the diocese for the, the past 30, 40 years, and um, he's going to continue that. Yeah, it was very um, exciting, but also very solemn and serious. You know, the priestly formation is seven years, so just to know that when I'm processing in and you know, a few short minutes, I'll be making that transition from seminarian and transitional deacon to Roman Catholic priest. So there's a lot of emotions and memories coming to mind when the priest came through and laid hands on me and prayed over me and just to see all the different priests coming through that have impacted me in one way or another, friendships, and you know, knowing that yeah, at some point, whether it was last year or 40 years ago, had gone through the same rite of ordination. In some ways, you could say that a cathedral like ours is a, is a, is a tool, of an evangelical tool, uh, because just by looking at the sacred objects in here, um, we're, we're teaching the faith through the building itself. God wants to say something to everyone through some part of the cathedral and I think that we have a great opportunity with the doors open to invite people to consider you know, what God might want for their lives.